from Hell's Kitchen in New York City. It's the Cube on the ground at Serverless Con. Brought to you by Silicon Angle Media. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman here with theCUBE and we're at Serverless Conf in New York City in Hell's Kitchen. Happy to have on the program a first time guest, Linda Nichols, who is uh, and does cloud enablement leader at CloudReach. Linda, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks. All right, so uh, it's the fifth one of these events. It's the first time uh, we've, we've been doing some interviews. I know mm -hmm. uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, tell our audience a little bit about yourself, uh, CloudReach, and, and what brings you to the event? Sure. Um, well, I'm at this event because I, I love this community. I'm really passionate about serverless. Um, I was at the event in Austin. I loved it. I had a great time. I submitted talks this time, and they accepted mine, and I was so excited. I Honestly, I would have come anyway, even if they hadn't invited me. Um, so I work at CloudReach. It's a company uh, originally based in London. We have an office here in New York, and uh, we're a cloud adoption company. Mm -hmm. So we're helping companies go from on-premises servers into the cloud, and then once they're in the cloud, that's sort of where my team comes into play, where we work with app modernization, taking the software apps that are now in the cloud and helping to break apart monoliths and modernize the apps using serverless. Yeah, Linda, tell me a little bit about the community because you talk cloud adoption. Most companies I talk to, you know, they're figuring out their cloud strategy. Um, some of them are getting on boards with containerization. Kubernetes is mm -hmm. the latest hotness. So, you know, serverless is still new. So tell us a little bit about that community, how long you've been a part of it, and what, what is it that excites you so much about it? Uh, it's been about a year, and um, I think as soon as I started kind of getting into it and creating apps on my own and kind of, you know, doing some things for clients, immediately the community was there. Like, I was on Twitter, I was on, you know, Gitter, I was talking to the serverless framework more people asking questions, immediately people came back with answers. Um, it's like, yeah, they've really embraced me and everyone else really quickly. And I think that when new people come on the scene and they say, what is this? People in the community are like, we don't really know either. It changes every day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, every time I see a talk from someone, their like, definition of serverless is different. And mine is changing, too. With yeah, so I, I know <laughs> we, we have that discussion, kind of what is it, but, you know, what are the outcomes? What are you excited about? What's helping your users? Any, any proof points or rollouts or things that, it, what, what's that game changer been? Uh, yeah. I think uh, it's cheap and it's fast. Yeah. Those are the two really important things, especially with a startup community. I mean, they're not, they don't have the money, they don't have the funding to really be like, you know, having an entire development team. And now they can bring in, you know, one or two people and they can get something written and deployed really quickly. It's good for prototyping, nonprofits, and now, now for enterprises too, because now we're saying it's not just for nonprofits, you can save money too. We brought you into the cloud, you're more secure, you're saving money, and now we're even going to save you more money and we're going to make your developers happy too, because they're having a great time. Yeah, I've been looking uh, in, in the event so far, it seems like there's big focus on tooling, helping to understand, really digging into it, mm -hmm. because yes, fast, easy, let me get up, I can save some money, but you know, there's always the wait, but, you know, okay, we, 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 we know we need to work on security, mm -hmm. I, I need to make sure I have visibility. Uh, what have you been seeing, what, what, what are you uh, impressed that you've seen so far, and what are some of the open things that you think the community still needs to work on? Well, one thing that's really interesting is you have the four cloud platforms, and they have similar products which are competing, but they still really are working together. I mean, you know, IBM and Google are hanging out behind us, you know, no, no pressure there, really. And they're, and they're all like, oh great, you have a new tool, that seems cool, it's like what we have, maybe we can work on ours, make it better. It's like, so, they're kind of working together. I think the thing that maybe uh, we have to work on is maybe a little bit of standardization, which I think is kind of starting to happen because people want to be able to use a hybrid system or maybe they use multiple cloud platforms. And so standardizing some of the events, some of the services, I think is going to kind of help that. Okay, uh, Linda, I want to give you the last takeaway. For people that don't know about serverless, haven't attended, and any tools or places you, how do they get started? How do they get into the community that you love so much? Um, I think I would say, uh, you know, start with AWS Lambda maybe. Uh, there's some tutorials on the site. A Cloud Guru has some great tutorials. Yeah. I have to give them a plug. Um, and, uh, you know, just, just start building something. And, and once you start building, if you have a problem, reach out to the community, they'll help you, they'll answer your questions. Yeah, absolutely, A Cloud Guru, of course, puts on this event, mm -hmm. uh, and, and really, not only are they, they, you know, they use serverless to be able to build their company, mm -hmm. but you know, dramatically, the, those price points, so 
not, it's, it's less time and less money to get involved low, low training. Mm -hmm. So Linda, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, really thanks. appreciate great, great talking with you. Yeah, thanks for having and, me. And uh, thank you so, mu for, so much for watching theCUBE. <laughs>